Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will use Matter protocol to control a LED strip with Alexa. Now using Matter protocol, you can control an IoT device with different IoT platform like Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple, Samsung, etc. You just have to scan the Matter QR code to connect that IoT device with different IoT platform. But here you must have a hub or gateway for that IoT platform. For Alexa control, you must have a eco device. For Google Home, you must have a Google Nest Mini like that. For this project, you just need an ESP32 and a voltage regulator as we are going to control a 12 volt LED strip. And we will configure the ESP32 using ESP0 code platform. So you don't have to write a single line code. So before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. First, let me try to control the LED strip with Amazon Alexa app. Let me control the brightness, then change the color. Now let me control the LEDs with voice command. Alexa, turn off RGB LED. Okay. Alexa, turn on RGB LED. Okay. Alexa, turn RGB LED into pink. Okay. So this is a very useful project and after watching the complete video anyone can make this project so without any further delay let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium which is a world class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all these, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. In the circuit, I have used a voltage regulator to drop down 12 volt to 5 volt for ESP32. But if you are using 5 volt LED strip, then you can directly connect the ESP32 with the 5 volt supply. Here I am going to use this PCB for this project which I have designed in last video you can find the link in the description. However you don't need this push button you just need a voltage regulator and a ESP32. Let me connect the ESP32 on the PCB. Now our circuit is ready and you can see the LED is also connected with the ESP32 as per the circuit. Now let me connect it with the laptop. Now we will configure the ESP32 using ESP0 code website. Let me search for ESP0 code. You have to click on the first link and you will redirect to this ESP0 code website. I will also share the URL in the description. Then you have to sign up as I have already created an account. So let me log in. As you are going to create a new product, so I will click on here. Then give a product name, say Smart RGB. You can give any name and click on start. Here you can see different type of device type, socket, plug, light. So you have to select the device type according to your project. So here I am going to control a LED strip. So I will select LED strip. So let me click on select. Then I will click on next step. Then you have to select the series for ESP32 that you are going to use for this project. Here you can see ESP32 C3, H2 and only the ESP32. So here I will select the ESP32 series. Then I will select this type 32E. As you are going to use, do it ESP32 dev kit B1 model. So I have selected this. Then I will again click on next step. So from here I have to select the GPIO details. As per the circuit, here you can see the data pin is connected with the GPIO 25. So here I will select 25. Then you have to enter the number of LEDs. In my case, I will control 10 LED. So here I will type 10. 
if you want to control complete strip then enter the number as per the led number available in the strip then click on next step then if you want to control the led with google then you can select it then you have to create a certificate so we will not cover that in this video just select the matter and it will give three year security update then click on this launchpad button it will create the firmware for you now click on connect your device as the esp32 is already connected with the system so it is showing the com port i will select it then click on connect now here you can see the device log it's uploading the firmware to esp32 and after that we also receive the qr code for matter we can use this qr code to connect the esp32 with different iot platform after getting the matter qr code now i will connect this esp32 with amazon alexa and here you can see the ESP32 is connected with the laptop and also the LED is connected with the ESP32. Now let me open the Amazon Alexa app and to connect the ESP32 you need a hub. Here I am using Amazon Echo Dot device and you also need to turn on the Bluetooth and location in your mobile. Now we will go to device then I will tap on this plus icon select add device then select light scroll down select other then select matter then tap on yes then you have to scan the qr code so let me scan the qr code now this may take some time now it is trying to connect the esp32 through bluetooth and you can also see the log here as the esp32 is connected with the laptop now let me select the wi-fi then tap on next the esp32 and the echo dot must be connected with the same wi-fi network but your mobile can be connected with a different network now tap on next i will skip it done if i go to light you can see the device added with name fast light let me change the name let me go to setting then tap on edit name then let me give the name rgb led you can give any name now we will turn on the 12 volt supply and control the led from alexa here you can see I have connected the circuit with the 12 volt supply. Now first let me try to control this LED strip from mobile app and you can see the light turns on and here you can see I have turned on the mobile data so mobile is not connected with any Wi-Fi network. Only the ESP32 and Echo Dot must be connected with the same Wi-Fi network. Now let me turn it off. Now let me turn it on again. Now let me increase the brightness. Now let me change the color to red. So this is a very useful project using free IoT platform. If you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.